Western thatching ants, native to North America, build their nests in dry regions of sagebrush and coniferous forests in the high desert. From a distance, it looks like a mound of pine needles. Step closer and you'll see it alive with activity as thousands of female worker ants build their nest. The number of workers per colony may be as high as 40,000. Western thatching ants get their name from the mound of thatch on top of the nest that is composed of twigs, grass stems, leaves, and pine needles. Ants lift and carry more than 10 times their size. The average mound is two and a half to three feet high and their nest goes as deep as four feet. Use caution around the mound because the bicolored red and black thatching ants bite. Inside the nest, the colony consists of one or more queens and workers. Workers tend to the queen and her brood raised in chambers in the soil under the mound. Workers also search for food, both plant and animal, on the ground around the nest and in shrubs and trees. Foraging worker ants bring a variety of living and dead insects, seeds, and honeydew collected from aphids back to store in the nest for food. In late summer or early fall, males and reproductive females swarm around the nest. After mating, females fly off as new queens to establish new nests and the males die. Queens live three to four years. Workers live an average of 31 days, although those who go into hiding for the winter live longer. Nests with multiple queens may survive up to 20 years. As fall approaches and temperatures drop, nest activity declines and fewer workers are found on top of the nest. In winter, when the mound is covered by snow, ants are deep within the nest waiting for spring when the yearly cycle begins again.